It's better with the lights off. It's better when you slow down. It's better when I stop. I've been writing music for like a long time now, since I was like 11, and I think I've always been really shy about putting my own name to my music. I've sort of always collaborated with other people, or I've sort of ghost written for people and I really wanted to have a project and I thought it was time to have um, a project of my own. It just seemed right. It was kind of like I came up with a bunch of names and that one was the one that stuck. Didn't have any connotations or any meaning really. It was just something that didn't have too much meaning to me which meant I could create something from like a blank canvas. I love production music and I love everything that um, that this sort of current production landscape can bring to a pop song and I'm really trying to find a space in between pop and production music that I can exist I guess and it's slowly getting I think it will continue to evolve forever I don't think it's ever gonna be the same but I feel like I'm in a nice place at the moment I'm really lucky I'm in a place where I'm signed to a label that harbors a lot of my friends so that's that's really how it evolved it was sort of not this big you know signing thing it was literally me running into Nathan at field day and him being like what are you up to where's where's the George Maple thing at I think the only thing that I listen to that's kind of current is production music so like Caribou or John Hopkins or even Arca I've been listening to a lot of Arca um, purely for the reason that I just I like the fact that if I'm writing a song, it's coming from just where it comes from naturally and I'm not sort of being swayed by trends or just trying to sort of fit into any sort of genre. I think I, I understand why people go away and lock themselves in cabins, you know, and like go off to the woods for four months to write. I think it makes sense. Isolation, maybe? I don't know, I guess. I think that we don't have as much as much to kind of latch onto as say America or Europe where they have very long standing history and there's a lot of music culture. I don't know if there's as much in Australia and I think that that's to our benefit because we interpret different genres in a different way and there's a certain energy there at the moment where everyone's kind of pushing one another to be better and I think there's also the internet that has helped to kind of uncover a lot of artists that wouldn't have been heard because we are so far away.